So guys, there's a rumor that's going around the internet that Frostbite, the ultra rare, when you put him in ice cold water, he'll change color. Welcome to Adventure Fun. <laughs> okay guys, we've got the coolest, awesomest, fullest collection of all Gujitsus ever. Well, we actually have all 13, including the ultra rare, the only ultra rare, which is Frostbite. I mean, guys, we are gonna have fun with opening up all these packages and squeezing each one, one by one, to find out their goo power. And by the way, which one of these guys are evil and which ones are the good guys? We're gonna find that out too. And where their goo power comes from, which in each side of one of these uh, Gujitsus, there's gonna be some sort of treat or candy that gives them their goo power. So we're gonna find that out. Um, let's start with the fro- No, we're not gonna start with Frost Spite first. Trick to you. We'll save the special towards the end. Let's start with, oh, I gotta have some breathing room here. Let's start putting these guys off to the side. Let's start with uh, this guy right here. And notice he's got also his bigger cousin. No, they're the same at this, except this one is the same as Blazagon. He's just a bigger Blazagon with attitude and he lights up. But we'll start with this one first. So the first one we're gonna be doing is Blazagon and his goo power is the Lava Slam. And he says he's super gooey. And on the back it says he's a born leader. When things heat up, Blazagon knows how to take control. He uses his smarts before he uses his fist. That is until he loses it. Then that level head of his blows his, its top and he erupts into action, unleashing his inner power on his target. Cool. And then on the back, that's what I just read here, a little history about his goo power, what it does. And then you've got all 13 here. Ha, 13 action figures with unique goo feelings. Goo feelings, nothing more than goo feelings. Hey, you gotta have a good feeling when you got a goo in you. And you can see you've got all the different ones you can collect. 13 total here, including the ultra rare frostbite. So cool. Oh, and then they got a little hole right here. You can squeeze them to try them if you're at the store going, do I really want to get this guy? Do I really want him? Do I? Oh, yeah. It's so hard to say no. And then the, oh boy, that's just fun. We got to open this up right now. Okay, let's get these guys off to the side. Oh, some of them come in dual pack and the ones that come in two packs, one of them is an evil dude and the other one is a good guy. Can you tell which one? And we got two of these two packs right here. I know, I've got an ADD moment, but in any case, those are the two packs. We'll put them over here. And then to open this up, I'm gonna get my specs out so I can really dive into this. Um, I think I'm just gonna try to pull it apart here. So if I just bend it, and then I can pull on it. Awesome. Blazagon, now these guys, they're hard to stand. <laughs> so it's hard for them to fight, unless you get close enough to them and then they just, smacking the head. So what we're gonna do is gonna squeeze them and find out, ah, oh, it's got all these little balls inside. Look at that. You see all those balls? Ah, oh, little gooey balls. That is so cool looking. And it's just indestructible. Well, unless you really pull them, let's stretch them. Oh, oh, look at that, right over here. I see a lollipop. Let me see if we can get a zoom in on it and uh, show you Oh, look at that. That's his goo power. I think that's a lollipop, his little sucker. Without that, he loses all goo power. I mean, everybody needs a treat, right? Let's stretch him again and... Yay! <laughs> He's got the spinning kick, you know, you wind him up and then you let him go on the evil dudes and he kicks them. Now, there's an insignia right here. This patch represents uh, the good guys. And we'll find out when we get into these doubles here. Uh, the bad guys. So remember that patch, whoever has a, a patch like this and the insignia, he's a good guy. So, so far we know that uh, Blazagon is a good dude. Of course I am. So you can let him kind of like, oh, okay. <laughs> There's Blazagon. I don't know if we'll put him off to the side. What should we do next? Oh, Bone Crusher, actually Wolf Pain. He's got the crunch attack because he likes eating cereal for breakfast. So that's why it's so crunchy. Actually, go ahead and push him. There's the crunch, but let's open him up. But first of all, Wolfpain, on call 24 seven, ready for duty. Wolfpain puts his brothers before himself with the head for strategy, he looks before he leaps. He's never one to cause trouble, but when the team is threatened, he's the first one to get his claws into action. And you can see down below, he's super crunchy. All right, to open this up, what I do is I just bend part of the box right here. 
Oh, it says stretches up to three times its size. We'll soon find out. So I bend it until I can get this plastic part away, separated away from the paper, and then just pull. And there's Wolf Pain. Okay, try some. He's not gonna stand up. He needs a little bit of help, a little supply support. So it stretches three times its size. Oh yeah, now you can see the bones in there. Let's see if I can like really give you a good showing of his, there you go, there's the bones. Mr. Bony Man, oh that's cool looking. Now inside you should have his uh, goo power, or his crunch power. And if we look around, we shake it, we ought to find it, but it could be in his, his uh, somewhere maybe in the purple part of his wrist. I gotta really kind of like move it around and shake him. Maybe it's in his footsies. Let's try there. Oh, there it is. Okay, ah, there we go. And you have to be careful because it will pop open. You guys tell me what that looks like, this purple thing. I think it looks like an ice cream cone. That's his goo crunch power. Let's see, what's crunchy with ice cream? Um, if you put sprinkles on it, and maybe the crunchiness of the sprinkles is his bones here, crunch power, doggy bones. Oh, and look, you can see that there's water inside, liquid too. Look at that. Uh, there you see the air bubbles. And there's water inside of this too, so when you break it open, play with them too much, or the wrong way, I guess. I mean, you can play with them too much, but there's a possibility. It stretches three times the size. Yeah! Oh. And there's Mr. Crunchface. Wolf pain. Okay, next. Let's do Pantaro. His uh, goo power is cryo-freeze, and he says I'm super mushy. Now, Pantaro's a fighter of few words. Pantaro's supreme skills and agility speak for him. A master of gujitsu, he silently prowls in the darkness until he strikes before his enemy knows what's hit them. Only those who are close to him really know the true Pantaro. And do a bend here, and then pull. And there's Pantaro. Just one of them, I like to him to stand. But he's not gonna stand. Okay, so he stretches. Oh, what about the feeling of, besides, you know, wolf pain? Oh, look at that. Oh, that is, that's like some, somebody made in the comments about Gujitsu, that's paint. I don't have to do a reveal on what's inside these things, but it does look blue and gooey paint-like. It could be paint, and it probably is. And then how in the world do you find that little candy inside? I'm feeling him, I'm feeling for it. And how would it reveal itself? Because it's so, look, it's just so dark. Oh, unless it pops all over the camera. Oh, I'm kind of nervous about squeezing this too hard. That just might blow. Oh, look at that. Oh, that feels so cool. Wow. You know, if I didn't know any better, it kind of smells like paint. Well, let me try to find... I'm going to keep feeling around and see if I can find his goo power, like, tree inside of... Oh, 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 there's something. Oh, it slipped. It slipped. Where is it? It, it probably went the other way. Hold on. It's in this right leg. Oh, there it is. Got it. It's right. Oh, did you see that? Look at that. <laughs> we found it. <laughs> we have to break them open. What is that? That's like, okay, so that's hard right there. And it actually, it's kind of like, I don't know what that is. What is that? Yeah, it's like some sort of like, what would that look like? It looks like it's round. And it's got, look, it's got some sort of like fin on the top of it. What is that? I mean, it's supposed to be a treat or a candy and I can't get a good look on it because of all the, the blue paint that's surrounding it. But when I squeeze it extra tight, oh, how, hey, put in the comments below if you guys know what that is. I'm seriously considering about cutting this open in another reveal to find out exactly what that is after you clean up the paint. Uh, it, it's it's kind of round, but it, it kind of isn't. And I couldn't tell you what kind of candy that is. Oh, maybe it's taffy. It's kind of got the wrapper at the end here. It looks like a wrapper. Maybe it's taffy. We'll have to open him up. But there he is. Pantaro. And let's go next. Tigor. And his goo power is flash burst. And he's super squishy too. He's smart and fearless. Tiger has the fastest fists on the streets. His paws are the cause of so many battles ending in victory. Tiger has earned his stripes in the art of gujitsu and has mastered its mind and body. The only thing he does fear is failure. Tiger. 
tiger. Oh, you can already see it. It's kind of, okay, so he's got some sort of viscous liquid inside water, but you can see right here as I turn it over, it's just floating around. It's his, it's his treat that gives him goo power. Oh, look at that. So what kind of treat is that? It could be licorice, maybe yellow licorice. That's what it looks like. And notice how it glistens and shines. In fact, in this goo, let me see if I can show you, shake it around a bit. There's like, oh, at the, on his feet. You can see it down on his feet. There's like little, let's see if we can blow it up. Oh yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Look at all those little uh, shavings of like some sort of like reflective paper. Uh, very like plasticky reflective paper. Oh, that's cool. I'm just wondering if this thing's gonna pop. I don't know, but oh, that feels cool. Look at that. Oh, we'll give him a big squish from the beat. Oh, we'll try to crush him. You can't capture me. Boom. And then he escapes. And he's ready to fight some more. Come on, come on. So we got his little licorice inside. It's yellow. And he's wearing the insignia. Don't forget these other insignias right here with the paw on them. That means they're the good guys. So, so far we've opened up four good guys. They all have the paws here. Let's pause for a moment. Okay, good. Okay, keep moving. Let's do this guy. This guy's pretty fun. I like him. He is uh, Thrash. His goo power is Tsunami Flex. And he's super stretchy. Now Thrash, always up for a laugh, Thrash keeps the rest of the Gujitsu crew on their toes. Franken is his favorite pastime with the wit as sharp as his teeth. He's just like the guy to have next to you in battle. He'll take out any opponent with ease and then crack a joke about it. What? He doesn't feel funny right now. He's just about to be released from his package. He's just excited to get out. So let's do it. Oh yeah, now he's the first one that's super solid. I mean that, wow, <laughs> breaking your table and he won't stay. Okay, first of all, he's got the insignia, the paw. So he's a good guy too. And uh, look at that, that's cool. He look, he's pranking right now. Prank, prank, prank. Oh, man, that's really. Oh, you can see his candy right there. His soup. Oh man, he does stretch pretty far. That is cool. <laughs> he can just freak you out with these long arms that could wrap around you and give you a big hug like Olaf. I like warm hugs. And then he'll prank you apart. Now you can see right here, he's got his can. Oh man, that's just so cool. Oh, what about his legs? Oh, that's gotta hurt. Can you be able to do the splits like that? Most girls can do splits. Guys, it's a little bit tougher for us. And then he's got this like glittery stuff on the inside. Let's see if we can like pull it apart so I can show you his glitter. Oh, there you go. There, it's glittery. That's pretty cool. I'm curious to find out what's in here. And then there's his treat that gives him the goo power. Oh, what is that? Let me see. Maybe we can do it from this side. It looks like a flower. Oh no, it looks like a cake. Like a bunt cake. Look at that. It's a bunt cake. He ate the cake. Yummy. And that's what gives him his goo power, stretchiness. Oh, look at that. He could elbow you right there and knock you out. He can have his cake and eat it too. Well, apparently he ate it, but it's not dissolving. That's his goo power. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> He just looks like some orangutan. <laughs> so far, we have five good guys, superheroes. Let's go to the next one. Oh, yeah. Next one is Sahario. His goo power is Desert Crush. I'm super sandy. And then Sahario is brave, proud, and strong. Sahario leads with his heart. There is no doubting his loyalty to his brothers, though sometimes his actions get him into more trouble than it's worth. Sahario always believes in himself, and that's why others follow no matter what the danger. Well, good for him. Well, I believe in you, Sahario. I believe we'll get you out of your package. Okay, let's feel him. Oh, wow, it's kind of breaking apart. <laughs> in the video that my boys did, they said it looked like when you broke it apart like this, like, poo. I mean, it's clumps of sand right there. Oh, and it breaks up. You can, f yeah, it's... It's an interesting sand because it's like hard and sand doesn't usually like have a, you have a hard time breaking it up. Some sort of special sand. And you know, let's see if we, oh yeah, when you stretch them, it's like, oh wow. And we got to break up a sand to be able to find his tree inside. Whatever gives him the goo power. Now we got to squish everything. Oh. Okay, so I, I'm going to take the blunt end of this knife and try to I don't know, try to break the sand so I can find his... We may have to do an operation right here just to see what... 
Oh, wow. Because the sand is like hard and I've got to find out what treat gives him. Oh, his bum bum there. What kind of treat gives him his goo power? And I don't know. Oh, okay, that helps. And it's breaking it up. Oh, guys, I'm just not finding it. It's hard. Okay, I think I'm gonna just cut them open. Okay, I hate to do this, but Sahario. Oh, okay, enough with it. Let's just get them open. Oh, that is sandy, look at that, whoa. I mean, we gotta find out what, what treat is his, right? I mean, it feels super cool. You can see, you know, I wouldn't go breaking these guys open, everyone, uh, just because you really don't know what's inside of them. I mean, I'm definitely gonna wash my hands after. I assume this is just regular sand, but maybe something toxic turned me mutant at the end of the video. It's just no different than biology when you're in middle school dissecting a frog, except this is so much cooler. Okay, we're gonna find the treasure. Oh gosh, I hate doing this, but we got to get to the root of this. Uh, what is it? Did they actually make a mistake? And did they not give him a uh, goo power, a little treat? I wonder where they'd put it. I mean, I checked his hands and his arms. Okay, so uh, let's get this out. Let's see if it's in his head. Oh yeah, look at that. In his head, he's got some sand up there. I assume it's not up there, but I mean, we're so close. We almost got it all. So we still have his arms. Could be trapped in there. Okay, here we go. Ah, there goes his hands. Oh, nuts. Uh, I hope I didn't lose it. If it was, was it a big chunk? Let me check the floor. Because there was a little chunk, but I assume. What was this? That couldn't have been it, could have? That was it. Where'd that come from? It came out of his. So the one that I felt go down that at that point in the video. Are you sure that's that? That would be it. It looks like grapes, guys. How in the world would you ever find that or see that? Okay, guys, we got number two. We're not sure if this little grape thing is from something else. We're pretty sure it's from here. We're almost positive. So we're gonna try to hurry and open up uh, number two, our backup. You always have to have backups because you know if you don't have backups and something goes wrong like this and you're not sure if this is just something that was from Jacob or Caleb's toys a long time ago on the floor. I mean, we do clean up around here. Oh, we do our best. Let's just make sure it's nothing. Oh man, I don't want to go through him again. I think at that point when we stretched him out, it came out of his arm, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, and it would be hard to match. So now that we know what we're looking for, let's put my specs and take a look. Okay, put in the comments below where you think we're gonna find the treat. Oh, we found it. We found we it. We found it. Oh, that's awesome. It is. <laughs> it is. We found his purple grate. It was in his shoe. Woo! So we did. We didn't have to cut him open. Hey, look. Let's pretend. Here, let's just edit all this out and just go. Hey, looky there. We found it. It looks like grapes. Oh, that just, I don't know. Anyways. Yay! <laughs> so that's cool. So guys, probably when you open up yours, you may want to like, squish his footsie around and then look for the uh, goo power there the treat uh, the grapes and you know, well, as far as uh, Sahario Sandy goes awesome there we go he's got a big foot oh oh he's gonna hold he's gonna hold he's going back okay maybe he won't okay this is a mess well that was fun uh, everyone but you know what we the more I think about it the more I want to do a reveal on what's actually inside each one of these because that was super fun okay so Sahario, he's got the same patch. Um, it looks like a bear patch, paw patch. So these are all good guys. All of them are good guys. So let's do, oh, let's do this guy. Okay, this guy, um, he's new or he hasn't been out as long as the other six have. And it's Simeon. His goo power is slingshot and he's super stretchy. Simeon, fast, sneaky, wild, and cheeky. Simeon is a master at getting in and out of tight spaces. There's no right way up when this guy swings into action. 
Simeon gets things done quicker and easier than most, which leaves him plenty of time to annoy the rest of the Gujitsu crew. Oh, kind of reminds me of that the sh um, thrash. Reminds me of thrash. Feels just like him, except without the glitter. So let's open him up. And there's Simeon. Oh, I like this guy. He looks, I love the color yellow. And look at that. Oh, he just stretches and he just, oh, that looks cool. And he's flexing his muscle. Look, flex muscle. Look how he flexes his muscle. <laughs> he just gets right and flexes it right in. Of course, when he flexes, he just curls back in. There's no muscle to show there. I mean, that's awesome. I love the color yellow. In fact, I think it's one of my favorites, Simeon. Now we need to find out his goo power inside. Okay, so first of all, there's his patch. Means he's a good guy. And oh man, that's just cool. I just want to stretch him now. He's more therapeutic than all the rest. Sandy was a little bit hard. And this one, um, Thrash, I mean, he feels cool, but it is like, it's harder to stretch him. And oh, anyways, he's a lot easier. This one's funner. I like him. He's cooler. You know, put a flashlight behind him, little night light uh, dancing. That's kind of cool. Do, 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 do. Now we gotta find his, uh, what is it, is it in his shoe? Come on, you got a treat in here somewhere. I'm stretching his feet, I don't see it in that one. Let me stretch this one. Oh, I hate to cut this one open to find out, but cause there's, I don't see anything in here. Well, we see he was made in China, that's good. Yeah, he's awesome. So guys, we can't find the treat inside of him. We'll have to see if we can do another reveal later when we get another one of this, uh, these guys just to make sure But he's super cool. Okay, Silverback, um, his goo power is bone crash. You can see some bones up there, so I bet that's all he's got in here are bones. And he's super crunchy. So Silverback is rock solid with a build that's hard to beat. That Silverback, just ask and he'll tell you how good he is. It's all about the look. Not only will he stop you, he'll stop you in style. When you've been hit by Silverback, you stay hit. Yeah, when he hits you, you stay hit. Let's see if that's true. So when he hits you, you stay hit. Yeah, no, I'm still staying hit. I can feel it. There's like water in there. You can hear it. You hear that? <laughs> it's, fun. it's such a cool little feeling because you got the water that's mushing him around. In fact, let's squeeze him open and see. Oh, you can see it. He's got skulls. Look at the skulls. You see skulls in there. Oh, man, that's cool. Wow. You pull him too tight and he'll... Okay, whoops. He just took out one of his buddies. Right, let's see if he stands. He doesn't. Man, he feels good and cool. Oh, I like it. And the water in there and all the skulls. Ah, it's very therapeutic. I like that. Now we got to find his uh, treat inside. So unlike Simeon, let's hope that Silverback actually has a treat. Oh, found it. Oh, look at that. What kind of treat do you think that is? Ice cubes? If it was a treat, I'd say it's a chocolate candy bar and it's yellow. I mean, well, it's been inside of him for a while, so I guess it has to turn to color, but that is so cool. Look at that. That's awesome. That's his goo power. He's a cool looking guy. I really like him. Silverback. So as far as looks go, I mean, he looks cool as far as the build and the, the texture, the colors, the crunchiness, but Simeon, I mean, he's right up there. I really like his colors too. That's awesome. And so. He does have a signia. He's a good guy. Awesome. Mantor. His goo power is sand force. Now, that was Sahario. And uh, he's super sandy, just like Sahario. Now, Mantor, though he's not as big as the others, Mantor's influence and advice stretches far. This cool and calm Gujitsu master shares his wisdom with his brothers because he knows that knowledge is the true power. His guidance is treasured by all. And it's like G.I. Joe, if you watch those old cartoons when I grew up a long time ago when we rode around on dinosaurs. G.I. Joe used to say, knowing is half the battle. So knowledge. Let's go ahead and open him up and find out just how sandy he is. Mentor. Okay, uh, yeah, I can feel, it, it just feels like this. Yeah, if you look at it, there's this sand. I mean, you know, <laughs> if we're gonna have problems finding the treat inside of here, 
Oh no, Mantor. Let's stretch him. Come on, Mantor. So where do you, go ahead and put it in the comments. Where do you think the treat is in his hand or his foot? Now, Sahario, we believe it was in his footsies. So I'm going to grab my knife and just kind of mush it around. Because this sand is like, wow, very hard. So, okay. I'm going to find you if you're in there. I assume it's in the feet. Oh. Yeah, I found it. It's in his foot. So guys, for your sandy one, look in the feet for Sahario and Mantor. Because I just, let me hurry and clear that out. It looks, okay, this one, this one looks more licorice-y to me. Oh, wow, it's even longer too. It's a tapeworm. Uh, no, flatworm, roundworm. Oh, this is a little bit hard. Because I really wanted to get you a good look at this. Okay, here we go. As good as I can get it. Can you see that? That's like, okay, I'm trying to give it all I got. Oh man, Tor's putting up a fight. Oh man, the super sand. His goo power is so powerful. I don't know if my thumb can stay there forever. Okay, Mantor. One, two, three, I'm out. Okay, you go in the corner. Now, he's still got a good guy patch. We're saving the bad guys for last. And let's do the next one. Okay, we've got Brawler. His goo power is Plasma Smash. I'm super spongy. Oh, that'll be fun. I guess he's got a bunch of sponges in him. Kind of looks like up there. Brawler from the Frozen Forest of Siberia. Brawler gets the respect he deserves by using nothing but his brawn and bare knuckles. <laughs> bear. They spell it with a B-E-A-R. <laughs> That's punny. He has the drive to be the best at everything he does. There are very few fighters who are stronger. Watch out. This guy's a hugger. Oh, we like hugs. And so, let's open him up. Oh, Mantor really took it out of my fingers. Okay, and so, Sahario. Okay, oh, yeah. Huh, that is spongy. Oh, look at that. It's sponge with red stuff. That's cool. I really like that color. That is super awesome. Kind of reminds me of, like, uh, fruit punch, Kool-Aid. Don't drink it. <laughs> look at that. See all the sponges in there? That's cool. That actually that feels pretty good. I like that. Oh, look at that. Even more. Now, what are the odds we're going to be able to find the candy in here? It's a lot of squish. Oh, wait. Maybe already found. Look, always in the foot. We're beginning to find out. It's always in the footsies. Okay, here we go. There's a candy. Let me flip it over. Oh, it's in the sponge. Hold on. It's a gummy bear. And why is it a gummy bear? Because he's a bear and he's brawler. I mean, that's what gave him his goo power. I mean, he was just, one day he was a normal guy, you know, hey Fred, hi Bob, and all of a sudden he had a gummy bear that gave him his goo power. And that gummy bear's in it, been in his foot ever since. If he loses it, then he just, what a world, what a world, what a world. He loses all his goo power. I like him, he's pretty cool. I really like, I really like that color in him. I mean, that's, that's awesome. You can see that red, that is so cool. <laughs> I like it. Wow. Let's see if we can give him a, a big brawler farewell. Give him in the big fist. Ugh. Sound effect time. And he is a good guy. He's got his patch. He's a good guy. All right, next, we're going to go with Graplock. His goo power is Stretch Surge. Um, super stretchy. Now, Graplock, with the mind that is stronger than muscle, Graplock outsmarts his opponent every time. An expert in armed combat, he entangles and confuses the enemies when ties them in knots. A super cool character, he excels in squeezing out the information he needs. Well, let's just see how squeezy-weezy he is. He does look cool. Okay. You know what? Okay, so this one, so to give you some sort of context, it just looks exactly like um, Thrash. And then there's uh, Simeon. So they both have the same texture feel. This one's harder to pull. It's thicker. And it's got glitter inside. Well, he's got glitter um, grab block in it, but he's easier to pull. And this one, Simeon, I would say he's not as easy. So if you had to go by strength about pulling, it would go toughest, uh, not as tough, and pretty easy to pull. So grab block. Okay, and look, he's doing this. Mm, 
It just annoys the enemy when they see his fingers like that. And then when they focus on his fingers, you see three, three fingers right here. He gives them a qua. So look, he's like, hey man, let's like duel. He's like, see this? He's like, oh, I cannot focus, but on that little pinchy thing. And then when he does that, he gives him one of those in the gut. <laughs> so he knows he's got his patch. So he's a good guy. Now we got to find his treat inside. Now, usually we say check the feet, right? Because that's what we've been finding. Ugh. What is Sahario? Okay, I don't see in his feet, but then this one's a little bit... Oh, look at his diapers. How embarrassing. He really ought to put something on besides these things. <laughs> but hey, maybe that like freaks the enemy out. Hey, he's in his underwear. Don't look. And then he gives you one of those. All right. Okay, so we're going to stretch him until we find... Oh, maybe it's in his oh, loaded diaper. Uh, what movie is that from? Loaded diaper. Diary of a wimpy kid. If it's in his diaper, we're in big trouble. I don't have to check the diaper out. Maybe like Simeon, there's nothing in him. I'm stretching his diaper and I'm just not, I'm just not seeing anything. Oh, oh. Gotta stop stretching him, his diaper's starting to come off. He is a cool dude, but man, I was hoping I could find his treat. So he does on his diaper, no, right there on his arm, he is a good guy. Okay, so what do we have left? We just have basically the bad guys. Now, they came in packages to get these bad guys. So like this one, I mean, we've already looked at Tigor here. We know about him, but he comes with Viper. And Viper, he glows in the dark. We're going to have to check him out and see uh, just how cool he is when it comes to glowing. Oh, like Viper says, I'm super sandy. we got another sandy one. So I hope we will find it in his foot, his tree. A viper, when it comes to sneaky, this guy is off the scales. Slippery and sly, Viper befriends you and then tries to end you. Striking fast, he slides his body into position only he can achieve. Then he shakes, rattles, and rolls out of sight until he strikes again. So we got the two packages here. We've already been over Tiger. Let's do Viper. The one thing you're going to notice about Viper, we're going to rewind. His goo power was Sand Strike. I missed that. Sand Strike. Is that his insignia? Let's find it. See that insignia right there? That's not a paw, is it? So he's not a good guy. He's a bad dude. Now he says he's sandy and oh, right. So a stretch, yeah, you can feel the sand in him and it just kind of pulls apart like this. He stretches really good. And that sandy part, oh, my fingers are getting tired of all. <laughs> it's like breaking it. Oh yeah, it feels really cool to sandy. Okay, we're gonna look for, see if he has any treats. Maybe the evil dudes aren't really that into candy. Oh man. And it's, okay, I'm gonna smash it. See if we can find it in his feet, the treat. And this one's just like really gonna be hard to find if it's not in his feet. I mean, it could be, what's this? Oh, it's in his hand. He does have a treat. Bad guys do like treats. And I'm gonna see if you guys can guess this before I can, but what kind of treat is that? Ugh. Does that look like an ice cream cone to you? Seeing the ice cream, you can see the cone right here. Then see the little like uh, bulges out as you squish the ice cream into the cone. I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Cool. Uh, Viper, you have done well. Oh, origato. Let's see what it looks like when he glows in the dark. Whoa, look at him. Patty cake, patty cake, baker's man. I'm coming over to you, Brawler, to kick your can. Yes. All right, next. Now, we already did uh, Thrash. Next, we're doing Rockjaw, and he also glows in the dark. That's so cool. So Rockjaw, there's only one way Rockjaw does things. His way. Nothing's going to stop this crop from getting what he wants. Those who put their trust in this guy are playing dangerously. He can snap at any time. He plays hard and hits even harder. So Croc, he's super crunchy. And so it doesn't. what's his goo power? So his goo power was, again, Fang Fury. So, close in the dark. Yeah, you can see it. He's got lots of fangs. In fact, let's see if I can show you some fangs in there. See all the fangs, all the tooth, teeth from all the crocs, other crocs he smashed in the mouth. That's a lot of uh, teeth there. That's pretty cool. Let's see how he stretches. And he also glows in the dark. So that's cool. And look at his insignia. 
It's not as the same as the bear paw, is it? So he's another evil dude. Now let's see what kind of uh, goo power he's got. What kind of candy? Is it in his feet? Is it in his... This one shouldn't be too hard to find. Usually, they usually put liquid in there. And you can see there's liquid in there. See that? It's kind of around my fingers there. And how, you see little water beads there? Okay, and I just found it, the candy. It was in the middle of his tummy. Now oh, there it is. Okay, what is this? Ah, there we go. It looks like a Coke bottle or something. He drinks Coca-Cola. I don't know what that is, but it does look like some sort of soda bottle. He likes his soda. All that soda, it'll rot his teeth. Well, he goes inside every night and brushes his teeth. There he gets, oh, he missed one. There, now they're all good. And he's like, oh, he's standing. <laughs> Wait a second. Graplock, oh, Graplock's gonna come in. He's gonna do his trick thing. He's gonna say, look up here, see that? And he's gonna get him right with his little three fingers. <laughs> so, we got two bad guys knocked out and they both glow in the dark. Let's take a look at that. Boga boga. Oh, Sahario, I'm coming for you. Okay, next, Scorpius. His goo power is radioactive sting. Oh, that's gotta hurt. And he's super oozy. Okay, so Scorpius. An evil genius, Scorpius is a master fighter with a force that really stings. An expert in trickery, he entices his enemies into his lair and strikes without warning, allowing him to ambush his opponent. His speed and accuracy are legendary. You see how fast? He got out of the box and got back in. Oh, look at that. Oh, see the back of his? He's got like one of those little ponytails. I mean, that's the stinger right there. So when somebody comes up to him, and he like zips around with his ponytail, flings his head around, what? Ow! And there he's go, and he's an evil dude, see that? He's got that different insignia, it's not, not like the uh, bear insignia either. So he's evil. And he's got his little like pinchers. I mean, this guy looks pretty cool as far as the setup goes, and, but he just can't stand still here. Let's see how super stretchy he is. Okay, that looks cool, but Let's do something even more so. Okay, now that looks cool. Green. Oh, that's just because he ate too much. Oh, listen to that. Oh, I can't do that. Did you guys hear that? That was so cool. It gave it like one of those little sickening sounds. I, I mean, that looks, you know what that looks like? That looks like, here, let's see if I can get his hand up. Ah, there we go. That looks like Treasure X goo, slime. They put slime in this guy. <laughs> He's got, oh look, there's his, there's his candy. Oh, can you hear that? <laughs> that sounds so cool. <laughs> now I lost my candy. Hold on, I'll bring it back. Uh, there it is, there's the candy. Oh, it's right. Oh, man. Oh, it, see the candy goes. Oh, there it is. Okay. All right. This one's kind of interesting. This can Oh, you know, I know what that is. It looks like one of those little square candy treats. You see the wrappers on the end that tie around the square of the treat. Okay, more of a rectangle there. That's cool. Oh, I got secret treats I must never reveal. You reveal. I sting you. That's cool. And I get him to stand. He's just so... But I really like this part, though. Oh, yeah. That green slime looks pretty cool. That's awesome. So now we have three bad guys. We have Viper. He's Rockjaw. And then we have Scorpius. Now, we're down to two. The ultra rare, or the big, huge, attitudinal version of Blazagon. Um, let's try Blazagon first. Cool. It stretches for lights and sounds. And so, attack sounds and lights, motion activated lights and sounds, squeeze power fist to launch fireball, and super squishy. Lights up for action in battle. Oh man. Oh wow. <laughs> Look at the 
this dude that's ultra stretch and look at the balls on his in his hand look at that that is cool here sound effect time and you won't miss his his treat can you see that treat it's a good ship lollipop he likes lollipops let's see he's supposed to tap his head So on the back of his head, you got to try me on and off. And so if I, if I go from try me to on, just slap his head. Let's go battle time. Put it into the mic so you can hear it. Let's go battle time. Roar. Lava slap fireball. Oh, there's the lava slap fireball. See that? He got his hand. Let's, let's, let's see if we can get him to say it again. Oh, you see that? Look at that. That's like, it's got swirly stuff, like some sort of goo on top. See, in this fist, he just has all the, the little round balls inside him, so you can see that. But in this fist, it's got like, some sort of like, glitterish goo with the fire, with the little balls inside of it. Oh, that is cool looking. That is awesome. Can you see that? That is cool, let's slap his head. Okay, again. That is cool, that is fun. Oh my gosh. Come on, daddy will take you home. Blast everybody on the way. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Woo, we're safe tonight. Nobody's gonna bother me with uh, Super Goo Blazagon. That's right, Super Glue Blazagon. Who is the father of Little Blazagon. Oh look, it's father and son. But man, he is so much cooler here with his little light blast and his talking. Yeah, turn the Oh that's cool, look at that. That one's cool. Lava Blast Cannon Lava Blast Cannon, that was cool. Lava Blast Cannon Lava Slap! Okay, the last one, my favorite one, he's an ultra rare, is Frostbite. He's the ultra rare Yeti, his goo power is Ice Hammer, and he's super mushy. And what's even more ultra, ultra rare about this is that if you look around for the ultra rares, it's not also in Spanish. And I got one that's in Spanish. We, oui. I mean, see. Si. And it's so cool. Frostbite, is he real or just a myth? Those who have seen Frostbite freeze with fear. Frostbite appears during blizzards and snowstorms. With his ice hammer power, he unleashes an avalanche attack that sends chills up the spine of his opponents. Oh man, that just, oh, his power is so cool. So I'm ready to open him up. Let's do this. Oh, I just destroyed his like ability to be in mint like condition if I ever wanted to resell him. I mean, these things, like, you try to get these, they go up in a hundred bucks or so. It's like crazy. Okay, I just opened him up, Frostbite. Oh, he is cool. Look at that texture. I just, oh, that's so good. Ooh, that feels, his little ice uh, spears in the back of it, or just snow. I don't know what it is, but it feels so cool. He does look super cool. He's like my favorite. I love his horns, and he's got his ice hammer. Boom! You could totally feel that power. And then, let's take a look. When we squeeze them, what kind of colors are we gonna see? Oh, look at that. Let's try to get it in his fist. So he squeezes his bottom. There we go. Oh, over here. Oh, you see his fist? That's Ice Hammer, and that's blue too. In fact, that reminds me of the uh, uh, Pantaro, who's got just like the same blue goose. I wonder if it's paint. I don't know, but man, this is cool. And I love his feel. This is like awesome. He feels and he looks cool. I like his blue PJs or his shorts. And look, what team is he on? The good guys. So he could take all three of these evil dudes out, even the glow in the dark dudes. Well, if they weren't laying down on their backs, but look, he took them all out in one swift with his ice hammer. That's how powerful he is. Smash! 
Now, does he have a treat in Oh my goodness. How are we going to find a treat inside of him, guys? Should we just check the foot? Here we go, his footsies. And he does smell like paint. <laughs> he does. Oh my goodness. I, he's ultra rare. He's got to have an ultra rare treat in him. How are we going to find out? I'm tempted. You can put in the comments below if we cut him open to find out what's inside of him. Ah, let's stretch him. Oh, that is stretchy. Oh my goodness. I'm not seeing or feeling anything. And I don't dare, because if that pops, if that's paint, oh guys, do not open these things. I don't know what's in them. So guys, there's a rumor that's going around the internet that Frostbite, the ultra rare, when you put him in ice cold water, he'll change color. And that's what we're about to dismiss or prove that it's true. So I got some snow in here, that's his habitat. And I'm gonna, oh, that is cold. I'm gonna push him in there. Oh, and I'm just gonna pile snow on him. Oh, look at that, you can hear him. Oh, that's a happy sound. So I'm gonna push it down in here and I'm gonna use the spoon because I don't wanna freeze my fingers. Well, he's at the spa. He's done with freezing for over several minutes now. And as I pull him out, you can see that he hasn't changed colors at all. And on the back of the box, it says, is he real or just a myth? Well, he's real, but this uh, talk about him changing colors, it's a myth. I don't know what it does to what I think is paint in there, but ugh, nothing's changed, no color. He's still the same. He's still our little frosty bite. We even froze Frostbite. He is totally frozen right now. I can't, if I do this, oh, see, you hear that? Listen, it'll break. You hear that? I'm breaking him. <laughs> He's frozen. He hasn't changed color. So this myth is totally debunked. He doesn't change color where you freeze him, dip him in ice water or anything like that. And well, that's what happens when you freeze him. He cannot move, he's totally immobile. And because he's so immobile, look who's coming in. Hi, Mr. Frostbite, so good to see you. I got an extra carrot. We froze him and he can't even move. He's just staring at him, ready to pounce him with his ice hammer. Oh, that's okay. I'll just talk to everybody else while you sit there and thaw. Oh, part two in another video to see what happens when Frostbite goes after Olaf. Well, he's a lot cuter than Marshmallow. Uh, put in the comments if you really think I ought to open all of these and to find out what's actually inside, if it is paint. I mean, we found out sand from Sahario. I mean, that you could actually take a look at the uh, teeth inside of um, Rockjaw, the teeth in Rockjaw or uh, Wolf Pain, he's got the, the bones. I mean, it'd be cool. I wouldn't mind opening them. Just let me know in the comments and we'll go ahead and we'll make that other video. I don't have a problem with opening them up to find out what's inside the ultra rare. I do it for scientific reasons, but I better have a backup. That's all I gotta say, an ultra rare backup. Where am I gonna find him? Put in the comments below if you know where you can find him. I mean, these guys are hard to come by, hard to get, but super cool. So thanks for watching. Be sure to leave us a thumbs up. If I could put my thumb up. There we go. Thumb up. And you guys thought the video was over. Well, we've decided to categorize him. He's got spongy. He's in a category all by himself. And then you got the two that has some sort of viscous, uh, like liquid inside of it, kind of watery. Both of them have it. And then these guys are all sandy, okay? The snake, the mantor, the saharrio, all sandy. And then you got the bone crunching. You have the skulls over here and silverback. And then you have Wolpain, who's got the bones, the doggy bones. And then you've got um, Rockjaw, who's got the teeth. And those feel like bony. They all feel bony. Oh, this is so cool. And then over here, you've got your stretchy uh, goo inside. I don't know what that makes it so hard to squeeze. And uh, the octopus, the simian. Thrash, thrash. And then finally, over here, now this one, um, you could say is probably more when you squeeze them, is more like slime. Uh, it does look more like slime than paint, but these two guys, I would say, are definitely made from the same genes. I mean, look at that. Let's see if we can squeeze them both at the same time. I mean, they both have something blue to show you. 
Oh look, he's getting his horn. He's gonna poke him and pop him. <laughs> so, I mean, look at that. So even, I mean, they got the same. They're both white. They both have, looks like blue paint in them. But this guy is harder to come by, harder to find the ultra rare frostbite. And so how many do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So it says 13 to collect. Why do we have 15? We have Thrash. Where is he? So there's Thrash at the bottom. Then there's Simeon. And then there's Wolf Pain and over here. And then it goes Tigor. And then it goes Brawler. And then it goes uh, Frostbite. And then we got Sahario. And then we got Silverback. Where is he? Silverback, then we have Mantor, which is right here, and we got Graplock, Octopus Guy, then we have Blazagon, and we have Pantaro, and we have Scorpius. So yeah, those are all 13 you can collect, but if you get the two packs, then you get the two dudes that are glow in the dark, and these are the evil guys. Otherwise, you only get one evil dude who has to fight all 12. I mean, it's a baker's dozen, but without the evil guy, you just have a dozen. But then he's got help from his buddies up here. You have to buy in separate packs. Cool. Chest bump. Please click on one of these videos for more events of fun.